Hi there, I'm here with Jackie Kemp from Your People Potential and Jackie's just done my transformational tarot course with me and thank you so much Jackie for coming on to have a chat with me about what your experience was during the course. You're welcome, pleased to be here. Brilliant. So um, what was it that piqued your interest about doing the programme in the first place? Um, I was interested for a couple of reasons. One is I used to do tarot in the past, and so it was interesting to see how to use tarot as a coaching tool. Another one is because the friend who introduced me to it is kind of like one of the last people I would expect to be interested in. <laughs> so when she said she'd found it really useful, I thought I need to know more. <laughs> Right. Um, and what was it like doing uh, like doing coaching sessions but using tarot given that you especially since you've had experience of using tarot yourself and you used to read tarot a bit in the past yeah, I, yeah back in my 20s I used to read the tarot um it was really interested it's reignited my connection with tarot so I'm really pleased that was a nice outcome that I didn't expect um, and I found it really interesting as it helped me to gain greater clarity, I guess, on different things. And I've never kind of, and because I've had coaching in the past with people who have processes and, and ways of doing it, the flexibility that tarot brings because you can't have a very fixed idea and it creates a different um dimension if you like so it's not your agenda it's what comes up with the tarot whereas coaches I've worked with in the past sometimes they seem to have a process and an agenda that they need to follow mm -hmm. and they ask you questions and they expect to hear what they want to hear and that doesn't always come out of my mouth so <laughs> it's it can it has been frustrating in the past at times when I've worked with other coaches, but this I found very different and very um, enlightening. Fabulous. Do you remember having kind of clear intentions about, you know, what <clears throat> why you wanted to do the, the programme in the first place? What was going on in life or, or what, what did you, what were you hoping for? Um, for me, it was about gaining clarity because last year when we started doing it, um, my mum had died, as you know, and there was a lot of family tensions going on and it was a very raw kind of time. So to be able to have that ability to process what was going on for me and the ability to kind of ask around family stuff as well was really, really, really powerful for me and really important. So, yeah, that was good. OK, <clears throat> thank you. Um what was it that you most enjoyed about the sessions? Um, I enjoyed, actually, one of the things I enjoyed was taking time for me to think about what do I need. That was really nice because I don't do that very often, being a business owner and constantly looking at what my clients need. And having that ability to ask for clarity and direction on things instead of just going with what I thought or I thought might be best for someone else. It was about being able to ask those and, and get guidance and clarity from a completely um, neutral perspective, if you like. There's nobody with their own agenda and their own view of what I should be doing because dot, 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 whatever it meant for them. It was all about what I need to do for me. Yeah. And I think that I've really found useful. I found that really interesting because every client is different uh, that I work with. Mm -hmm. Because you came with, you kind of like had an idea about something, but you would ask the cards, "Is what what would the outcome be if I do this?" And yeah. you came with, "I've got some." There's sometimes you would come with, um, "There's there's this thing that's going on in life, and I don't know what." Uh, there's three different possible options yeah. that I could do, and I don't know which to do. And so together, that was really interesting to play with um, how to use the cards in a really sort of uh, intuitive way in terms of reading spreads and things. Um, 
yeah I, yeah, I found, that. yeah well I found that really useful because sometimes we just look at the cards and you send me this picture and I'm like oh I'm not doing that <laughs> but it might have been the thing that I preferred to do <laughs> if I was just left to my own logical intent it would have been oh, I'd much prefer to do it that way and then you know, the cards are out nah <laughs> it was like and it just helped to bring that clarity and the belief that whatever decision I have made having gone through that process I don't have that well what if there's no doubt about you know because I know what if because the cards have shown me what if and I'm doing it so I think that's been really really useful what are the sort of breakthroughs or awareness were you aware of as as you were kind of going through the this process week to week um it was really nice to have I think for me it really was about like clarity and having that I think also sometimes I've come and not know what to what to kind of focus on because there wasn't always something going on but being able to ask for that guidance and then the tarot kind of gives you what I call the wisdom of the tarot and it's kind of oh yeah I thought I was I thought I'd dealt with stuff or done stuff and now I'm still so you know I think that's really good that you have that way of doing what do I need to know and then making sure I've still got that open mind to hear it and to take the message on that was really useful and really interesting do you think you'll use tarot again yes for sure Uh, (laughs) <laughs> yeah. how do you think you might use it or how has it changed your your um perception through doing um, I'll probably get back into using it for me I will definitely if I've got any of those kind of yeah don't know which way to go with this definitely do that okay well if it was this way and if it was this way and if it was this way so that I'm bringing in that so it's not just guided by what I think or talking to somebody else who may have a vested interest in the outcome. It's just down to the wisdom of what comes up. Um, So I'll definitely use it like that. I will start to use it again more to read for myself. And then over time, I will potentially add that to a suite of tools that I use with clients. But that's definitely a few years off that's not here and now but here and now to reconnect with my own cards would be well it is lovely so I'll continue that it's fabulous. And when we were chatting earlier about um the perception that you'd had of tarot that you'd sort of um dropped them for a while and that through doing this it's like ro- woken up your passion yeah for why did you drop them and, and what's changed I think because there's a real perception out there about people who use cards are head in the clouds, (laughs) very (laughs) fairy, bit too woo-woo. And I've always been a bit woo-woo, so I'll always have that connection with doing stuff that others might think of in those terms. But actually picking it back up again and working with you in particular has helped me to see it's not airy fairy it's not you know and there's you know reading around things like quantum science and how we're all energy and everything is connected all the cards are is energy and it and it gives us an intuitive way of working with a different energy and if we allow ourselves to connect with that there's nothing airy fairy about that. It just helps bring clarity and let go of doubt and give you the the impetus to actually move on and take action. That's not airy fairy. So yeah, I, I really I've really enjoyed the process of reconnecting with my cards through your cards. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you, do you think you would recommend this then to other people? And if you would, yeah, why? absolutely because it helps you to get that clarity and because it's it's bringing in that other dimension that isn't somebody else's agenda so if I've got a question about my business I could go and ask my husband well he'll have his agenda I could ask the woman who works for me she'll have her agenda 
But if I ask the cards, they haven't got any of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I ask you with cards and you're doing the cards with me, then that's really helpful because that's I can't then misinterpret that on my own agenda because if you're doing the reading, then you will tell me <laughs> intuitively what you're seeing, which stops me from hiding from the things that I don't want to see as well. So even mm -hmm. for people who do use the cards, I would encourage them to use you and have you as a coach using the tarot because you will make sure that they get the full message and they don't filter it for themselves, if that makes sense. Because we can yeah. all see what we want to see, can't we ignore everything else? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie. It's been such a pleasure working with you. It's really so really much really fun really. and I've learned so much through the process. Oh, so thank, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>